大家上午好，我是吴莎莎。中国日报二零二二年十月二十五日星期二：一、我国建立首个极深地下实验室，寻找暗物质；二、下学年香港学校聘用教师需通过基本法及香港国安法考试；三、跳水世界杯，中国队八金四银收官，居奖牌榜榜首；四、国内汽柴油零售价上限。现价上调，九十二号、九十五号汽油升零点一五元每升。五，在岸离岸人民币对美元汇率分别跌破七点二六和七点三零关口。六，阿里商家多平台经营是常态，今年双十一不再单纯关注 GMV。七，前三季度国内生产总值八十七万零二百六十九亿元，同比增长百分之三点零。八，射击世锦赛，中国队拿满八个奥运席位。九，中国将积极申办二零三一年女足世界杯。十，欧洲新冠确诊病例累计超二点六亿例，死亡病例超二百一十万例。十一，欧理会批准在欧盟范围内统一手机等电子设备充电接口。十二，四十二岁印度瑜苏纳克胜出，英国一年内迎来第三位首相。谢谢收看，明天见。Good morning, everyone. My name is Grace. China Daily Tuesday, twenty fifth October, twenty twenty two. One China has established the first extremely deep underground laboratory to search for dark matter. Two, in the next school year, teachers ex- employed by Hong Kong school must pass the basic law and Hong Kong national security law examinations. Three, diving World Cup, the Chinese team finished it with eight golds and four silvers, ranking first in the medals list. Four. Domestic gasolines and diesel retail price increases. Number ninety-two and number ninety-five gasoline rose by zero point fifteen yuan per liter. Five, the exchange rate of the onshore and offshore RMB against the U.S. dollar fell below seven point twenty-six and seven point thirty threshold, respectively. Six, Ali multiple platform operation of merchants is the norm. This year's Double Eleven no longer focuses solely on GMV. Seven, the GDP in the first three quarters was eighty-seven thousand and zero twenty-six point nine billion yuan, a year-on-year increase of three percent. Eight, the Chinese team in the World Shooting Championships had eight Olympic seats. Nine, the China will actively actively bite for the twenty thirty-one Women's Football World Cup. Ten, the cumulative number of confirmed cases of the COVID-19 in Europe has exceeded 260 million, and the number of deaths has exceeded 2.1 million. Eleven, the European Council approved the unifications of the charging interface for mobile phones and other electronics devices within the EU. Twelve, the 42-year-old Indian-born Sonak Wan and the United Kingdom. Ushered is first prime minister within a year. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.